This is the most accurate Garage Curvy Easter egg tutorial in 2022. This is a tutorial for everyone that has all the Mega Gobble Gums as well as people that only have the classics. I have some really helpful tips in this video that will help you beat the hardest and most annoying steps in this easter egg. So if you watch this video and you still can't complete it then you're helpless. But if you can beat it with this tutorial, drop a like, subscribe if you are new and share this video with anyone else who needs help beating this easter egg. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the class setup. For your gobble gums, you want to bring raindrops, shopping free, perkaholic, Undead Man Walking and Idolize. You can sub out certain Gobble Gums for others, like if you don't have any Perkaholics, you can run Soda Fountain. But Idolize is insanely good for this Easter egg, so whatever you do, you have to have that one. If you don't have any Megas, then you want to bring anywhere but here and in plain sight. As for the other three slots, you can bring stuff like Alchemical, Arsenal Accelerator, Lucky Crit, stuff like that. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have anywhere but here and in plain sight. To complete this Easter egg, you will have to collect 6 trophies, the Gauntlet of Siegfried, the Dragon Strike, the Dragon Shield, and additionally you will have to turn on the generator. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain more when we get to that step. This is optional, but I would also recommend getting the Dragon Wings, as it will make it a lot easier traveling back and forth to pack a punch. So starting off your game, first off you want to turn on power as early as possible. The earlier you turn on power, the sooner we can get the Pack-a-Punch, and the sooner we get the Pack-a-Punch, the sooner we can start this easter egg. Once you turn on power, you're gonna have to start killing some zombies until one of them drops a code cylinder. Now pick it up and interact with this machine right here and it'll drop a Groth module somewhere in the map. You can tell where it is just by looking in the sky and you will see a green light. Go to where the Groth module is and now you will have to defend it from zombies trying to destroy it. At this time it also acts as a soul box, so once you get enough kills it will eventually open up and you can pick up the first part. You'll have to do this two more times to unlock Pack-a-Punch and the order will always be Dragon Command first, then Supply Depot, and finally the Tank Factory. While you're unlocking Pack-a-Punch, I recommend getting the Dragon Shield acquired as well. Right now I'm showing you all 9 spawn locations you have to check to find 3 different parts and when you have them, go down to the bunker area and build the dragon shield on the crafting table. After you complete the 3rd and final Groth module lockdown, be sure to not end the round. There are a couple steps in this easter egg that require you to flip rounds, and obviously the lower round that we stay on, the less chance that we have of going down. So don't end the round, go down to where you built the dragon shield and place all 3 Pack-a-Punch parts in this location. Now fly to Pack-a-Punch via the Dragon Command Dragon. Once you're here, don't worry about the Dragon Strike or nothing, we're gonna save that step because it'll make completing the Dragon Egg step so much easier. Speaking of which, go down to the bottom of the Pack-a-Punch area and shoot the egg down and grab the egg. Now leave Pack-a-Punch via the sewer, and while you're in the sewer you will come across a red light. What you need to do is you need to shoot the red light so it turns green. Additionally, you will hear an audio cue that sounds like this when you shoot it correctly and that is for a trophy that we will collect next time we fly to Pack-a-Punch. Now at this point you need to place down the dragon egg. You can pretty much place it in any of the various locations around the map, but I always place it right in front of the dragon command. Now at this point you can grab 3 of the 6 trophies that you will need for later on in the easter egg. And those 3 trophies are as follows. The first one is right above the tank outside of dragon command. Shoot it down with a weapon and collect it. The second one is in the tank factory right beside double tap. If you shield bash this window a valkyrie trophy will come out. Pick it up and now go to the supply depot. Once you're here activate the eye trap. Now be sure that you do not stand in it because it will insta down you. The only way to survive is by walking in it with your shield out. But once the trap's off, if you look where the eye beam was shooting, you will see an open safe with a trophy inside. Pick that up, and now, once you pick up all three trophies, you can end the round. Now we have to wait two rounds to continue this easter egg. So at this point, I would recommend getting set up, so get a couple perks, and I would also recommend trying to get the Raygun Mark 3s out of the mystery box. If you can get the Mark 3s, you don't need any other weapon besides maybe an unpacked normal weapon for a step later on in the easter egg. Two rounds later, you can finally pick up the egg, and now if you look at the bottom right of the scoreboard menu, you will see that the dragon egg has 5 steps to complete and it is 2 fifths of the way filled. So now we're on step 3 which is getting napalm kills. So get a horde of zombies outside of dragon command and wait for a dragon to come breathe fire on the path. Now when the dragon breathes fire, I want you to stand in it with your shield out. Doing this will make you take no damage and kill all the napalm zombies until you see that the dragon egg meter is 3 fifths of the way complete. If you see that the progress meter on the dragon egg has moved, now it is time to fly back to Pack-a-Punch, but fly to Pack-a-Punch via a dragon that you have not already used. So if you went Dragon Command the first time, then use Supply Depot or Tank Factory. Once you're at Pack-a-Punch, 
Pack your Mark III's if you have them. If you have at least 6,000 points, feel free to pack your Mark III's. I say 6,000 because you will need an additional 1,000 points to do the next step of the Dragon Egg. Once you pack a bunch of Mark III's, now start the Dragon Strike Lockdown. Now the way this works is there's four phases. The first phase will have one set of windows open on one side of the bunker. The second phase will have a different set and it keeps going on until the fourth and final phase has all the windows open with zombies trying to come in. When you're on the phase where only the windows upstairs are open, I want you to hop on the mounted MG42. Now look as far right as you can and just hold down the trigger and pull up your scoreboard menu. Eventually you will see that the progress meter will go up to four fifths of the way complete. Once you see that, we are now on the fifth and final step for the Dragon Egg, which is melee kills. So when you're on the fifth and final step, feel free to hop off the MG42 and shield blast five or so zombies until you see that the progress meter is completely filled. Doing those last two steps this way makes it so much easier completing this Dragon Egg than if you do it normally with a sniper or a death machine, for example. And plus, you have to do the Dragon Strike lockdown for the Easter Egg anyway, so right now, we're just killing two birds with one stone. Also, when you're doing the lockdown, now's a good time to get the Mangler Helmet for the boss fight. Now, to get the Mangler Helmet, you have to shoot the helmet off of five Manglers, and you also have to shoot the Arm Cannon off of five Manglers. When you do one or the other, you will hear an audio cue. And when you do both, you can go back to the second floor of the department store, and you'll see the Mangler Helmet sitting on a mannequin. But getting back to the lockdown, at this point, finish the lockdown, grab the Dragon Strike controller, and grab this trophy out of the toilet. This is why we needed to shoot the light in the sewer. Now at this point, we should have four out of six trophies. Once you do that, go to the bottom of Pack-a-Punch and place the Dragon Egg in this chamber that you see me doing here. Now during this lockdown, there will be a Valkyrie that spawns. You need to lure him into the corner by this generator as you see me do here. And once he gets close enough, you can then kill him with your Mark III's. And if done correctly, he will shock the generator, turning it on. Now doing this will start the infamous Valve Step. One of the worst steps in any Easter Egg that any COD Zombies developer has ever made. But anyways, once you finish the lockdown, the hatch the lead pack punch will reopen. And now you have to wait another two rounds to go pick up the Dragon Egg. Now once again, at this point in time, do not end the round. Save one or two zombies left so you can do this valve step as easy as possible. Once you're back to the main part of the map, you'll have to go around the map and check six different valves to look for one of two things. See if one has a green light at the top of it and see if one has a pink cylinder inside of it. Now here are all the locations that I'm showing you right now. And when you find these two, I want you to remember which locations that they're in. For example, if the pink cylinder is at Tank Factory and the green light is in Supply Depot, remember that. But when you find these two, I need you to look at these cheat sheets and find your corresponding code. Then you have to input the code in all of the valves. For example, if your code says to turn every valve to one, then you'll go to all five valves that do not have a pink cylinder inside and interact with all of them to turn the circle until the circle is over the number one. But like I said, here are all the possible combinations. There is a total of 30 combinations, which is absolutely insane if you ask me. But I went out of my way to write them all down so they can be in this video so you don't have to go out of your way to go look them up on a website or something like that. While you're here, you can just check them all right here. You know, if you appreciate that, you could like drop me a like and whatnot. But anyways, once you input the right codes, go back to where you found the pink cylinder. And if you did it correctly, then the pink cylinder will be out of the valve and you can pick it up. If you can't pick it up, go back in the video and double check if you input all the codes correctly. Once you grab it, give it to Sophia and a letter panel will come out. Now I suggest ending the round so you have like 15 or so seconds to input this code without getting hit. Because if you get hit during this process, the code will reset and you'll have to input the word over again. But there's no RNG in this step. The word that you have to type in is the same word every single game. And that word is Kronos, as you see on the screen right now. Once the letters read Kronos, enter the code, and if done right, you will have a white flash on your screen, and Sophia will start talking. Now we need to finish the Dragon Egg. So when you flip two rounds, Sophia will say incubation is complete. Now you can go back to Pack Punch via the only dragon that you have yet to fly on, and pick up the Dragon Egg. Now while you're at Pack a Punch, if you still haven't packed your Mark Threes, now is the time to do so. Because having them pack a punch for the upcoming steps will make them pretty much a walk in the park. But anyways, make your way back to the spawn room of Garai Kirby and go to your trial stand and interact with the bottom reward and it'll come out with the Gauntlet of Siegfried. Pick it up and now we're going to go collect our final two trophies. The first one is in a safe right beside where you build the shield. Pull out your specialist, click the left trigger to unwield the dragon and punch the safe. 
Doing this will open the safe and you can pick up the fifth trophy. Now make your way in front of the supply depot area and activate your dragon strike on this puddle as you see me do here. Once you do that, the sixth and final trophy will come out of the ground and you can pick it up. Now that you have all six trophies, place them all on a stand that's on the opposite side of the Dragon Command from where Sophia is, and doing so will give you a white flash. Now while Sophia is talking, I recommend trying to get a Gobblegum like Idolize or Undead Man Walking, or if you're using Classics, in plain sight. But once you have a Gobblegum, interact with the trophies again, and you'll get a white flash, and eventually one of the six trophies will have a white light under it, signifying what challenge that you are currently on. But before you do that, let me explain these challenges. From left to right, you have the Gersh Challenge, the Bomb Challenge, the Mangler Challenge, the Valkyrie Challenge, the Defend Challenge, and finally, the Lockdown Challenge. Now the Lockdown Challenge will always be the final one you do before you go into the boss fight. So technically, you will get one of five challenges at random. If at any point during any of these steps you hear this sound, you have failed this step and you will have to flip to the next round to restart the challenge. Now that you've done all that and you know sorta of how all this works, skip to the chapter of the challenge that you are currently on. But for this video we are going left to right so we are starting with the Gersh challenge. So when you get this challenge you will have to look for Gersh from Ascension, which for the less informed viewers that are watching this, Gersh is a floating yellow orb. He will travel around the map and he will leave a yellow trail behind him, so it's pretty easy finding where he is. He's also really loud, so if you have your headphones turned up, you'll be able to hear him pretty much no problem. Now to complete this challenge, you have to shoot Gersh three times. Like I said before, if you have the Pack-a-Punch and Raygun Mark 3s, just spam him with the Raygun part, and he'll stop in like three to five shots. Now there's a trick to stop him from moving again once you stop him, if you are fast enough. After the first phase, he will say this quote that's on the screen right now, and when he's almost at the end of that quote, shoot a Raygun Mark III shot at the ground to protect yourself from the zombies, and look at Gersh and just keep spamming him with the Raygun part until he stops again. Now again, he will say another quote, and when he's almost done with this quote, do the same thing as you did before, and you should be able to stop him for the third and final time. After you stop him for the third time, he will start saying some dialogue, and now you have to go in this corner of the Dragon Command. Eventually Gersh will follow you and you will get a white flash showing that you are done with this challenge. After all the dialogue is over, you can interact with the stand again to start your next challenge. When you get the nuke statue, you are on the bomb step. By far the hardest step in this whole easter egg. Because if you mess it up one time, you will go down. And if you don't have quick revive, you'll die. But when you get the nuke challenge, pause your game so I can explain how this works. When you first get this challenge, the TV behind the statues will have a layout of the map. It'll flash all six of the highlighted areas pretty fast, and then it'll flash all six areas again, but slower this time. Now this time, when it's flashing slower, you need to write down in what order the board flashes. For example, in my game, I got Department Store first, and then Supply Depot, Armory, Infirmary, Dragon Command, and finally Tank Factory. So now that I have this code, on Solo, I have three minutes to finish this step. Like I said before, if you incorrectly input the code in any way, you will instantly go down. So here are all six locations for the bombs. Once you get the hang of this step, it's really not a hard step, but for the first time doing it, it is really stressful. Pay attention to all these locations that I'm showing you, and input your code that the TV gave you in the same order. Also, here is a good time to use one of your gobblegums if you are not confident in your abilities to not go down during this step. But when you put all six bombs in in the correct order, you will get a white flash indicating that you are done with this step. Go back to the statues to start the next challenge. When you're on the Mangler challenge, there will be a Mangler somewhere in the map with green eyes. His spawn is completely random, but most of the time he'll either be in the tank factory, in supply depot, or in the department store. I'd say 90% of the time he's in one of those three locations. But anyways, at this point, this is the step that you potentially will need an unpacked secondary weapon. So if you don't have that, get one now and hunt down the green-eyed mangler. When you find him, you have to escort him back to the dragon command. And this process is really, really not fun. If you get too far away from him for any reason, he will stop following you and he will try and go outside the map to kill himself, failing the challenge. And obviously we can't have that. So stay close to him. You will notice that he will stop like every three to five seconds to shoot his arm cannon at you. And that's really annoying. So now pull out your secondary weapon that is unpack-a-punched and shoot off his arm cannon. Not his shoulder, but the hand cannon itself. 
If you did it correctly, you would have shot off his arm cannon and he did not die. So if you did that correctly, then he should be just full on sprinting at you. Now again, at this point, you should not run too far away from him. You want to keep a pretty close distance to him and you need to lead him back to the Dragon Command. Once you're at Dragon Command, bring him inside this corner and he will be dragged up by Sophia completing the challenge. We are now on the Valkyrie step. Now this step isn't that difficult. It's actually kind of fun. There's a cool shortcut that'll come into play near the end of this step, but I'll show you that when we get to that part in the step. When you get this challenge, hit the Gobble Gun Machine and try and get idolized or in Dead Man Walking, or if you're doing it with classics, try and get in plain sight. Go to this window in the spawn area and you will see a Valkyrie Joan with green eyes coming into the map. Now it's just like the green eyed Mangler step, you have to escort him to the same spot in Dragon Command, but this time the Valkyrie Joan will not attack you. This sounds hard, but in practice it's, it's really not. If you shoot the Valkyrie Joan or reload next to him with Electric Cherry, or even if a Widow's Wine Grenade goes off next to him, he will die. He has literally 1 HP. And obviously if he dies, you're gonna have to flip to the next round and do this over again. If you have Idolize, just pop it every 30 seconds and escort the Valkyrie to Dragon Command. If you don't have Idolize, or even if you do and you don't feel like wasting it, when zombies get close to you, just shoot the left trigger ability on the Rhaegar Mark III, and that'll slow the zombies down. This effect will not kill the Valkyrie. And when you get enough space between the Valkyrie and the zombies behind him, then you can kill him with the Rhaegar Mark III. But unless you're about to go down and you need to save your perks and whatnot, I would not recommend using the super ability on the Mark III, the purple orb ability. I say that because it's just too risky for this step. Now just keep escorting the Valkyrie like I told you to until you get to the tank by Dragon Command. Now when you're at these steps, you can do one of two things. You can either one, shield bash the Valkyrie to kill him, or two, you can activate the flinger trap right in front of you and let that kill the Valkyrie. And just because I said kill the Valkyrie and you'll get a fail sound, don't worry, because if you go in the corner in Dragon Command where everything else gets picked up, you will see the animation play of Sophia grabbing the Valkyrie, but the Valkyrie will not be there. You just saved yourself around 20 more seconds of pain. But anyways, if you see this, then you've done it correctly, and you are done with this challenge when the dialogue stops. Additionally, you will see a white flash, and when you see that, you can go back to the stand and get the next challenge. Next is the Defend Challenge. When you get this trophy, look at the TV behind the statues, and you will see one of the three locations where you can ride the dragon to pack a punch will be flashing on the map. You need to go to that area and look outside the map. If you somehow miss the flashing light, then you can just look in the sky for the green light for the Groff module. Which, spoiler alert, that's what this challenge is. We have to defend a Groff module that is outside the map from zombies. The easiest way to complete this step is just by killing them with the purple orb effect on your Raygun Mark III. Now, since the Groff module is so far outside the map, you have to aim high with your Raygun Mark III to get the orb to the Groff module, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that big a deal. Also, during this time, zombies will not spawn in the playing area if you're on solo. On co-op, they still do spawn in the map and you will need someone to protect you, but if you're on solo, you don't have to to worry about any of that. Now this step pretty much works the exact same as the normal Groff modules from whenever you were getting pack a bunch unlocked. The only difference is when the Groff module is done, you need to pull out your specialist and unleash the dragon. And he'll go collect the item inside the Groff module and bring it back inside the playing area. When he drops it, recall the dragon and collect the drop. Now take the drop to Sophia and give it to her. When you do that, you'll get a white flash and some dialogue showing that you are done with this step. And last, but certainly not least, we are on the lockdown challenge. To start this challenge, first pick up the card in the compartment under the statues and travel to Pack-a-Punch. When you're here, pack a bunch of all your weapons that you need to do, and when you're ready, come to this console that you see me do here and place your card in it. Doing this will start a lockdown like we did for the Dragon Strike, but this time it'll only be manglers. To complete this challenge, the progress bar at the bottom has to fill up and disappear. And here is a tip so you don't have to waste all your ammo. You don't have to kill them constantly. You can just save one mangler and train him around the bottom floor of the pack-a-punch area until the meter is complete. But if you want to make it hard on yourself, just kill every mangler that you see until the progress bar is complete. Also, if you didn't get it during the first lockdown, now's your last chance to get the mangler helmet. Again, that is shooting off five mangler helmets and shooting off five mangler arm cannons. But eventually, the meter will disappear and you can kill the remaining manglers and the lockdown will end. Now pick back up the key card in the console and give it to Sophia. Doing this will complete the sixth and final challenge. Now Sophia will give you the power cores and tell you to give them to Nikolai. So grab them from Sophia and go to spawn by this statue and once again unleash your dragon and he will give Nikolai the power cores. If done right, you'll hear Nikolai say that he's charged up and at this point, 
it is time for the boss fight. So at this point, get ammo for all your weapons, get a second Pack-a-Punch weapon with turned on it, get all of your perks, get the Mangler helmet on, get a shield, and most important of all, make sure you get your Idolize, or if you're only running Classics, get your In Plain Sight. But when you get all that and you're ready for the boss fight, return to Sophia. At this point, you will get yet another white flash, and eventually Sophia's machine will back up and it'll reveal a gate. If you stand on it, it'll take you to the boss fight. When you're in the boss fight, to start it, you have to go in the center and hit this button to free Nikolai. Now, there's two parts to this boss fight. Part 1 is fighting a dragon, and part 2 is fighting Nikolai himself. When you free Nikolai, the dragon will show up. This part of the boss fight is more or less a waiting game. You just have to survive and wait for Nikolai to expose some weak points on the dragon. The dragon will move around the arena breathing fire all over it, so just walk around with your shield out and the fire will not damage you. Just be careful when you're doing this because there is a decent amount of manglers and zombies and valkyrie drones and pretty much every enemy in this map that will be spawning at this point in time. Now unless you absolutely have to to save yourself from downing, do not pop your in plane sight. If you have an idolized, just make sure you save one charge of it, but if you're using in plane sight, try and save both charges until the second part of this boss fight. After the first time that the dragon moves, Nikolai will expose the first of three weak points on the dragon that will expose its wing. Now just shoot the weak point of the dragon with your Raygun Mark III and you will beat this part in around 5-7 to seven shots. So at this point you've done this phase, you just gotta wait for the dragon to move again and Nikolai to expose another part of his body. This time being his stomach. So again, just shoot his stomach until he starts freaking out again. And after the third and final time that the dragon moves, Nikolai will expose a weak point on his neck. When you shoot its neck enough, he will start freaking out again. But this time the dragon will die and you have beaten part one of this boss fight. After you kill the dragon, you will get a mini cutscene with Nikolai, and he'll say that he will never surrender. Now when you hear this quote, you will be put back in the map, and you will be instantly thrown into part 2 of this boss fight. To beat this part of the boss fight, you have to take out the 5 weak points on Nikolai's mech. Now this sounds hard, but it's really not, because as soon as the cutscene's over and you can control your character again, I want you to spam your gobblegum button to pop idolize or in plain sight, whichever you're using. When you pop your gobble gum, you will see that Nikolai will just stand there. So to kill Nikolai, you want to take out the two lights at the front of his mech. Then you want to take out the two cores on the top of his mech. And then finally, you want to shoot the power core in the middle of his mech. And when you take out his center core, he'll fall to the ground and you have completed this boss fight, as well as this whole entire easter egg. So if you beat it, congratulations. This is not an easy easter egg, even if you know what you're doing. This is still a fairly challenging easter egg. So if you've beaten this with this guide, congratulations. Hats off to you. I hope this 2022 guide for a 2016 easter egg was helpful. If it was, let me know by dropping a like, subscribing if you are new, comment down below if I helped you, and share this video with anyone else who needs help beating this easter egg. Also, for some reason, if you cannot beat this easter egg still, comment down below and I will try to help you out even further. I put out a video where I completed every single COD Zombies easter egg in one video. I also released an updated 2022 Blood of the Dead easter egg guide, so if either of these videos pique your interest, click on them right now to go watch them. Shout out to all my sponsors, the names are on the screen right now. If you guys want to become a sponsor, click the link down below in the description, or click the join button below this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that being said, this is Joltz, signing out. Peace!